Based in Nashville, Tennessee, Scott Fetzer Electrical Group manufactures a wide range of electrical motors and components in a constantly changing production environment. The company is now realizing a vision of having rolling robot colleagues help increase productivity and improve worker safety. When I was brought into SFEG early last year, my goal or my task was to find ways to automate our factory, ways to make us more competitive on the global scale, ways to make it more advantage of the machinery that we had. One of our biggest challenges is we're a high mix, low volume producer. For most of our lines, they don't run every day. So trying to find a way to put robots on the lines in the traditional sense was a very big challenge. So we came up with the idea to do some sort of mobile force, but the challenge is how do you do that with all the safety enclosures? You know, I came across this idea of a collaborative robot, you know, something that could work with humans that, that you didn't have to be afraid of being around. When our workers come in in the morning, their task is no longer to go do some monotonous task, it's to go take their robot and deploy it to whatever job it needs to do that day. And that robot's gonna move all around our sheet metal department while it does that. We're trying to look for tasks that are either very monotonous, um, that are labor intensive, or potentially hazardous to do. And one of the tasks that we've automated is epoxy filling circuit boards for part of our transformer line. What we've seen with implementing the universal robots is about a 20% increase in productivity on the lines which we've put in the robots as a result of having a pace setter with the universal robots working hand in hand with our people. We've seen the ability to get much more competitive when we go out and look for new business and we can compete with anybody. Uh, we're bringing back business that used to be in China or that we used to source in China. We've been able to reallocate some of our employees to other areas where we've seen growth in our business. We're seeing about a one-to-one -one, um, movement of people from where we put in a robot to allow us to move one person to another area of the business. It was really easy to learn and it went much smoother than, than I anticipated. I was a little antsy using a new technology with the collaborative, and, but it, it was really easy to use. I would say it took a third to half of the implementation time out of it based on the previous experiences I've had. You can actually read through Modbus, TCP connections, robot status. Uh, we can pass information using the Ethernet socket connection to, to other software packages to collect data. It opens up a lot of doors to do a lot of things that, that we're just now beginning to to look at. We've got two robots working with humans. Uh, the first robot's actually cutting wires off of the motor field. That's a potential carpal tunnel syndrome application. Um, I mean, you're cutting about 16,000 wires a day by hand. Um, and so we thought that was a great place to put a robot, you know, let them potentially get carpal tunnel. And what really made this cell happen was the collaborative nature of the robots.